Passwords are a thing of the past. I'm gonna show you how to set up Touch ID on your MacBook Pro and show you all the things you could do with it. This is how to do it all. So I just got a new laptop for work and once you know, it has a fingerprint scanner for Touch ID. I'm super stoked, I've never had it before. I know it's been around for a few years on MacBooks and MacBook Airs, but I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So let's get started. Go to the Apple menu, select System Preferences, then select Touch ID. Now click Add a Fingerprint. You will then be asked to enter your computer's password. After entering your password, you will then be prompted to lift and rest your finger repeatedly on the Touch ID scanner multiple times at different angles to capture your fingerprint. After a while, it will ask you to keep going to capture the edges of your fingerprint. Once the fingerprint is fully captured, you'll see a message saying your Touch ID is ready. Your fingerprint can be used to unlock your Mac. Click Done and you will see your fingerprint in the Touch ID window labeled Finger 1. You can click on the text and change the name of your fingerprint to easily identify it in the future. You could add more than one fingerprint if you like and label them accordingly. My MacBook Pro would only let me enter in three fingerprints, but that's more than enough. Once you've added your fingerprints, you will now see four checkboxes below your fingerprints, which allow you to pick and choose the different Touch ID functions you'd like to use. You can use Touch ID for unlocking your Mac, for using Apple Pay, for making purchases in iTunes, the Apple Store, and for downloading Apple Books. You can use it to autofill usernames and passwords on websites while using Safari. You can also use it to autofill credit card information in Safari and other applications. To set up Touch ID for iTunes and media purchases, there's a little more work you gotta do. Go to System Preferences, select Apple ID at the top, and log in if you're not already logged in. Find Media and Purchases in the list and check the box that says Use Touch ID for Purchases. You will then be asked to enter your Apple ID password to enable Touch ID. Once your password has been entered, you will see that the password requirements below are now grayed out. Now you can buy stuff from iTunes and the Apple Store using your fingerprint. You can customize settings in Safari also for auto-filling usernames and passwords on websites and for storing your credit card information to use with Touch ID. To do this, open up Safari, select Safari in the menu, and click on Preferences. Select Autofill, and you will be able to edit autofill web forms by adding or removing usernames and passwords to access sites with Touch ID. You can also edit your credit card info and other forms. It's worth mentioning that Touch ID is not available when you first turn on your computer. You still have to type in your password, but once you've logged in, you can use Touch ID to wake your computer back up or to make purchases. Well, those are some of the basics for setting up Touch ID on your MacBook Pro for making purchases, for unlocking your computer, and for auto-filling websites. So give us a like and ring that bell if you found this video helpful and you wanna see more from how to do it all. Make sure you check out our related video on how to get into a Mac if you forgot your password and you're locked out. It's extremely helpful. And thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.